and then eight weeks later you get your Ooh. third dose. So it takes about 11 weeks to wow. complete the series. Ten each time or ten total? Uh, well, you start the doses. One tenth each time. Each time. Three microgram. And then for Moderna, it's 25 micrograms, which is a quarter of the adult dose. And it's two doses, one month apart. Again, no preference, but a, two, a, a few points I just want to make really quickly. Kids who are immunocompromised, they get three doses of Moderna, not two. Um, and a lot of questions are asked about, well, what if you get like the Pfizer first and then you can only get the Moderna? Mm -hmm. You can do that, but this is what's important. Pfizer is, if you have any Pfizer, Pfizer at all in the mix, you have to get three total. So if you get like okay. Pfizer, Moderna, you have to get another one. It could be either Moderna or Pfizer. That's important. I yeah. know. And then finally, what, ha what happens if your child gets the first dose right. when they're four and then they become five, right? Oh, yeah. You move up. So you get the oh, higher okay. dose if your child has a birthday in the middle of the series. It happens. It does sure. happen. Okay. Yeah. It just might be a dumb question. No. Any inoculation? So I'm sure you have some inoculation after the first dose. Yes. Right? And you have a little bit more after the second dose? In terms of reaction? Right. Yeah, generally speaking, we say that um, after the second dose, people usually experience a little bit more. And there are some subtle differences, even in the kids, that Moderna might be a little bit more more reactogenic, just like in adults, so maybe a little bit more of a sore arm right. or stuff like that. I have a couple questions because I know, I'm, I'm sure six, I can generate so old and a two-year-old. So, um, first of all, I was pregnant with my youngest. Yes when I got the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Is he at all vaccinated or does he need to be vaccinated? Mm. Yep. So in the first six months, of course, remember these vaccines were approved for six months and older. So babies born to moms who've been vaccinated, number one, are protected. So good job because you protected mm -hmm. your child. We know that those vaccines, that those antibodies actually do pass on to the baby, but your child can get and should get vaccinated at six months or older mm -hmm. when you choose, even if you've been vaccinated okay. um, as a pregnant mom. My other question is, yes. Rusty, just got over COVID, you know, yep. several weeks ago. Is he protected? Can I wait like six months before I should get him vaccinated or should I do this now? So the recommendation is that if your child has recently had COVID and recovered, there's no set time that you should wait, but it is still recommended to get vaccinated. Generally, because the, the likelihood of reinfection is so low within yeah. the first 90 days that that's a reasonable time to wait. But the kind of immunity that you get is just so much broader that is conferred by uh, vaccine than just, we know that people get reinfected. You guys know yeah. this, right? Oh, yeah. And also, Dylan on the kids. You can get the back of the COVID vax if your child is getting any other vaccine in their series. Oh, you can. So just MMR, throw it you can ask me that. Yeah. No, I'm glad you okay. glad you're, glad you're <laughs> Yeah. So you know, like especially because a lot of kids got behind in their vaccine right. yeah, in the yeah. pandemic. He's going in so if you're in to see your pediatrician and, and they're saying it's time for the MMR booster and that you can get uh, you can really? get them all in the same. It hasn't been studied yeah. together, but we know that kids can tolerate multiple vaccines. Do you recommend that as a doctor? I mean, you know, it's funny that you ask that because I remember when I had my, my first child and I thought, here I am now the first time I'm a mom, right. not a doctor making yeah. recommendations. And I remember asking my pediatrician and we, and we did, I, I did space it out once, like once, you know, one mm -hmm. and then a week later I came back. My doctor knew that back, yeah. right. right? And that's the concern and the reason pediatricians would just say just just go ahead and do it exactly. it's safe for the kids we don't want them to miss that and that, it's almost that traumatizing okay bring them back in exactly another shot so yeah. so i do recommend it information this was good and needed yeah. after thank you. Thank you. Thank you. all right coming up next it's